Hi, I'm Chris from CodeReviewVideos.com and in this video we're going to show you how to use Photoshop a little bit like a programmer. So the idea is that we're going to automate the process of resizing some of these images or all of these images actually uh, to make them compatible or nice looking on a WordPress blog post. So you can see I've got a fair amount of them. I've been to a conference this weekend and I've taken all these pictures. Some of them are alright, some of them are garbage. Um, they've come out a bit shaky. Uh, some of them, I'll let me see. Some of them in here, there's, there's one particular that's super shaky. So they're not going to be perfect and the idea is not to make them perfect at the end of this. I just want to repeat the same process through all of them and then I'm going to go back through and choose the ones that work. So each of the pictures is huge and it's a big file size as well and I want to cut all this down but I don't want to do it all by hand. So I'm just going to drag the first one in and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into uh, actions. So if you're not seeing it, it's just windows and actions or window and actions and then in here uh, what you need to do is create yourself a new folder call it my actions. If you've already got this set up then you probably don't need to watch the video I suppose but yeah we're going to then do, do something like resize and save. You can call this whatever you want uh, but just describe the action that you're doing and then you can see that we're in record mode now it's not like a real time record mode so you don't need to do this at the speed of like light or whatever um, you can just take your time and do the things that you need to do in fact it's easiest if the first time through you just follow it through and then use the history to remember what you did and maybe write it down and yeah, as you can see, it didn't doesn't record the fact that I clicked on history. Uh, so it's not only recording the things that actually make a change to the image, which is really smart. Uh, so the idea that I'm going to do is just shrink the canvas size. So like, this is like a bit of a terrible crop, um, but it, it serves the purpose for what I want to do. So 1280 times 768. Um, and then it says, yeah, there's going to be some clipping. That's absolutely fine. Uh, it's just got rid of all the junk around the edge, uh, which I don't really want and then go back into image and then I'm going to do an image size now so actually shrink the resulting image down to say 640 and I'm just letting uh, Photoshop like constrain the proportions or just keep the image in line with what it was so like just shrinking it maybe by 50% or whatever um, you can see there it looks a bit terrible so even if we zoom in it still looks a bit terrible and this is partly to do with the Mac and um, the resolution on the Mac is, is really good and 640 pixels wide tends to look terrible but that's more like how it will display on the blog um, which is a bit odd but yeah just um, it's just one of the things with MacBooks I suppose and the retina screen anyway file uh, save as is what we want to do and I just want to make sure that I'm saving it not into this root folder where all my originals are um, I want to save it into this batched directory so I'm just going to save that in there and just accept the fact that it says 50k on average is what it's going to come out as it come out a little bit short uh, smaller actually in the demo like that i've done previously to this uh, like the, the sort of the walkthrough that i did um just to test it and i'm just going to click stop uh, and that should be all good and then if we jump across that folder scroll down uh, and then just have a look in there we can see that our images come out and it's a lot smaller it's the right size it's the right file size so that's all good and i would advise uh, make sure that you take a copy of your images before you do this as it's a bit it's one of them processes like this you know the third fourth fifth time that you do it you'll be like ah, oh, you know I kind, of, I kind of know what I'm doing by now but the first two or three times you're going to end up wiping over your pictures I almost guarantee it um, so yeah just be careful anyway so we can close that down now and then I'm going to go to automate and batch and in here I'm going to it's, it's already sort of remembering the settings that I've used before but um, yours might not have this st stuff set up so it's just th the my actions folder that we created resize and save is the only action in there uh, you may have more if you do fair enough just choose the one that you've just created source is going to be from a folder so we're going to do this against the entire folder choose the folder that you want to run it against so that's my folder with all my images in the rest of it I can leave and then uh, we want to output it to a different folder so that we're not overwriting all our images again we just choose the folder if you've not got one new folder call it something whatever dash batched or whatever and then click override the action the save as that was part of the thing that we did as part of our action uh, and then you can sort of muck around with the file names and make them so like all my file names are a bit wonky and out of sorts and I could go in there and maybe just change it up a little bit get quite clever um, but I'm not going to do this for the purposes of this demonstration but do feel free to sort of have a look around and see what you can do and then just hit OK and in the background there it's just going to start doing that for us so that's the 
the batched folder and you, you can see they're getting spat out the exact same file, file names which is why you want to make sure that you don't target the same directory otherwise it's going to go ahead and overwrite all your existing pictures which is more than likely not what you want because some of them are going to be bad crops or whatever this process is generic it's not going to apply to every image but you can see we've got down to 37k and 640 times 384 so it should be perfect for a wordpress post and out of this many pictures i'm pretty much guaranteed to have a few that have uh, have worked i've saved myself a ton of time uh, you saw how quickly we've got to this step 